What is my cell tower lease value? What is it worth? That's the million dollar question. We get asked this over and over. We've been asked this question uh, probably a couple thousand times. You know, what's my cell tower lease worth? Um, what are what are cell tower lease values? Um, well, they're gonna they're gonna be based and determined on a site by site uh, basis, right? Is it a direct carrier lease with Verizon? Is it a ground lease? Is it a rooftop cell site lease? Is it is it a developer lease? Is it in Los Angeles or New York or Long Island or, or you know Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex, or is it you know out in the Palouse in uh, <laughs> in Washington State somewhere? It's all going to be determined by um, a number of different factors. So uh, you know what influences the um, cell tower lease values? Well. Zoning, right? Um, is it is it a residential area, for example, with single family houses everywhere, and they have really no other, you know, commercial property available? And and do you have a a property that is uh, meets all the zoning requirements? Uh, you maybe have you own some woods behind the house, and you have you know a thousand homes around you, and you have uh, an acre of woods. Um, behind your home and maybe you know there's access there well maybe that's the only suitable location for a cell site in a, in a huge area so the value there is going to be you know quite a bit more of course you're going to have some <laughs> some angry neighbors because no one wants a cell tower in their backyard but the value is determined on a site-by-site -site basis so if you have a neighboring property or adjacent property or nearby property that'll that'll do a deal for five hundred dollars you won't get twenty five hundred dollars a month on a ground lease or on a rooftop lease, if they have you know competing property that will satisfy the requirements and the coverage needs of that carrier, then you won't get even if you know you know somebody you know you have a cousin that's getting thirty five hundred dollars a month, you're still going to get five hundred dollars. You know, and we don't recommend that you do a deal for that cheap. But each cell tower lease is valued on a site by site basis. You can have a property. You can have a, for example, a rooftop cell site that's paying a thousand dollars a month on one side of the street, and you can have down the street. You can have one that's paying four or five, six thousand dollars a month. It really depends on on the availability of sites. For example, the six thousand dollar a month rooftop cell site lease could have been, you know, leased twenty years ago in an area where that was the only, like, let's say, high rise condominium. In the meantime, they've developed a few things. Um, and uh, a few buildings where they could put a, a cheaper site. And maybe there were four or five available rooftops. So let's say Dish only paid, they didn't go on the $6,000 rooftop, they went on the $1,000 rooftop that was a quarter mile away that met their coverage needs. So you could have um, you could have sites that are you know $5,000 apart within a quarter mile of, of one another, it is possible. So if you have questions about the value of of your cell tower lease agreement or your attorney has questions give us a call at tower genius our number is 888-313-9750 you can visit us at towergenius.com or follow the link in the description of this video and fill out a contact form thank you